Today, I'm going to attempt to make half lap joints with just a router and a homemade jig. Will it work? So I'm making this Montessori style house bed for my son and the design uses half lap joints. A lot of similar toddler beds are joined using screws, but because I'd like to be able to disassemble the bed, I'm joining the pieces using furniture fasteners, dowels, and of course, half lap joints. I started the process by marking all my boards. First, I marked the length of the half lap. This is the super easy part. You just lay one board on top of the other at 90 degrees and use the width of one board to mark your other board. Just make sure you've got your boards facing the correct direction and you're good. To measure the depth of the half lap, I use this nifty center finding ruler. Use the numbers on the top for the width of the board, then the ones on the bottom to find the exact center point. To make it less awkward and more accurate to mark my center line, I set my combination square for this value and then marked the piece. Now I have my half laps marked perfectly and I'm ready to move on to the next step. If you've ever used a router, you'll know they're not so great at making freehand cuts if you want it to be even remotely straight. So I made a little jig to help with that. This jig is actually super simple. I just need some boards the same width as the ones I'll be cutting the half laps into. Some cutoffs from those same boards should do the trick. I made a little box around the board I need to cut so the router has a platform to rest on. I put the board I want to cut down first and then I build my little jig around it. The goal is to rest the router on top of the jig and guide it across. I clamp all the pieces to make a tight fit, then place a piece of plywood over the top. I measured from the edge of the plywood to my cut line, making sure it was around the same measurement as from the edge of the router bit. I took my time to make sure it was square, but didn't need to worry about lining up the cut perfectly, since I can slide the board in and out and make adjustments later. Then I fired some brad nails into it to hold it all together, and I'm done. For my router setup, I'm using a plunge router with a 3 quarter inch diameter straight bit that has a 1 inch cutting depth and a shank top bearing. I'm going to make passes with the router, cutting a little deeper each time to make sure I get clean cuts. The router I'm using has a cool little stepper thing called a depth stop turret. When setting the depth of the bit, I maxed out the turret to the depth I measured my cut earlier. Before each pass, I just rotate the turret one notch to drop the router bit about an eighth of an inch before making another pass. Once I've reached the bottom setting, I'm at the exact depth I need the cut to be. To make my cut, I move the router across the edge of the plywood guide to get a clean line. Then, I move it over horizontally to clear out the rest of the joint for that pass. As my cut gets progressively deeper, the shank top bearing really comes in handy, acting as a guide to keep my cut nice and square. And now what you've all been waiting for, did it work? The half lap joints I cut are pretty dang clean. Now would I use this method if it were expensive hardwood? I have my doubts, but for this project, where I'm using knockdown bolts, and I just need the half lap joints to make it a little bit stronger, it should be perfect. Let me know what you think in the comments below and which method you like to use to make half lap joints. And the best way to support this tiny channel is to hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.